not, not directly on the floor. Okay. Not directly on the floor. Of course, we the floor is required. Go through the process of peer review and publish the studies. I can tell you we are in the. <laughs> <laughs> this little skull is sitting there alone. There's no mandible, there are no parts of her body. And that maybe leaves one of the greatest mysteries that this whole thing is going to say. And I don't have answers to that. I can't have answers to that of why a child's skull has made its way into those deep, dark recesses. Because the, it has not been washed in there, as I've said. The bod, it didn't crawl in there. The body would be there. Forward up here. I think the great chance here, particularly for all of you, you'll have plenty of chance to ask me questions. A small-brained, non-human species. This is not a human. You would not mistake this for a human child, nor would you mistake any homo naledi. Was actually going into these spaces with deliberate reason around the death of individuals. If this skull was moved from some other location to that point, that, uh, that truly is a remarkable level of, of interaction uh, with, the, with the dead. I determine the geologic age, which is the time period in which the species was living. And that, if I can give you a center age, I would say 250,000 years, because we're deriving this age from the ages of formula lady that we've determined in the entire cave system. That's what I was going to say.